For more and more of us, search and social media platforms aren't just our window into the internet, they serve as our primary source of news and information. No one tells us that the window is blurred, subject to unseen distortions and subtle manipulations. We just saw a sitting president deny the clear results of an election and help incite a violent insurrection at the nation's capital. Not only that, but a majority of his party, including many who occupy some of the highest offices in the land, continue to cast doubt on the legitimacy of the last election and are using it to justify laws that restrict the vote. What does still nag at me, though, was my failure to fully appreciate at the time just how susceptible we had become to lies and conspiracy theories, despite having spent years being a target of disinformation myself. Social media companies already make choices about what is or is not allowed on their platforms and how that content appears both explicitly through content moderation and implicitly through algorithms. The problem is we often don't know what principles govern those decisions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.